First up, I want to show you how to fix these because sometimes they, the like the wire pops out and someone had asked a question, I think on my bunny wreath roundup, how to fix these. So I just use a little bit of floral tape. So I'll like wrap it around one piece. So the, like, there's three sections. So I'll wrap it on one section, then the second section, the, the third section, and then back around the first section. Obviously for Dollar Tree, these aren't like the greatest quality wreath forms, but make it work. So I started with uh, my first one with these lilacs that Dollar Tree has had for quite a few years. Um, I remember crafting with them two or three years ago for spring crafts, but um, they're a go-to staple of mine and one of my favorite flowers because sometimes the silk flowers at Dollar Tree can be hit or miss of quality, but I really like the lilacs. So I ended up using six bunches in white, six bunches in light purple, and six bunches in dark purple. And so what you do is you just cut the tops off a bunch, like one bunch of flowers, wrap it together in floral wire, and then wrap it to the wreath form. So when you attach it to the wreath form, you can wrap it around like either one piece of wire or two pieces of wire. Um, but I wouldn't wrap it around like all four because I just, I think it'd be sliding around too much. And so you just kind of have to weave it in and out. So it's a little bit time consuming, but not too bad. And then wrap it around, I don't know, six times, six, eight times. Um, and then when you get to the end, just twist it a handful of times and then cut off the tail ends. Super easy. And then you're just going to repeat the process with the other 17 bunches of flowers. So yeah, this is not the cheapest wreath because it does use quite a few bunches of flowers, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. And so what you do is you start at the top and you work your way down and you layer one bunch of flowers on top of the other. And then when you get to the end, you can kind of finagle them and slide them around to make sure that the whole wreath form is covered. But just, you know, three bunches of each color on each side. So three white, three light, and three dark purple on each side. Super straightforward. And then when I get to the bottom, um, my trusty black and white check ribbon. This is like the jumbo roll that I got on clearance after Christmas. I always stock up on the Christmas black and white check ribbon. And then I don't, I'm not a professional bow maker, you guys, I'm sorry. So what I do is I just loop it back and forth. So the point was to make five figure eights. So I did three large figure eights and then I was like oh I think those are a little bit too big so then I kind of reworked it a little bit and I made them smaller it's like I bunched it together and I was like oh I think that's a little too big so I kind of reworked it and I made it just a little bit smaller so I did three large figure eights and then directly on top of that I added two smaller figure eights the whole point is just so that they're not all the same size it gives your bow just like a little bit more dimension. So once I had all five figure eights looped on top of each other, then it was time to assemble the bow in the center. So I just pinched it all together in the middle and you don't care what it looks like when you first pinch it and then twist it with a pipe cleaner, a chenille stem. I don't know, I call them pipe cleaners. And then twist that onto the wreath form. So just give it a couple twists in the back and then trim off the ends of the pipe cleaner. And then you can kind of fluff out your, your bow. So take each of the loops individually and kind of fluff them out until you get the desired effect that you want. And if you don't twist that pipe cleaner too tight, you can kind of tug and pull on the loops. If one looks too small or one looks too big, you can kind of play around with it. And then just grab another piece of ribbon and wrap it all the way around the whole wreath form like all four layers of the wreath form, tie it in the back and knot it. And then you can kind of fluff and finagle the flowers to make sure everything looks even and the bow is as even as you want it to be. Um, so just kind of play around with it until you get everything looking the way you want it. And then final thing is to trim the ends of the ribbon. So I just, you know, you fold it in half and you cut it at that 45 degree angle so that you get that nice, clean looking tail end on the bow. But that's it, that's my first little wreath, a little lilac Easter egg wreath. 